Okay guys, hello, good afternoon ulit. So, I hope nakapag-break na lahat. So, ngayon, discussion naman natin is actual deformation naman guys. So, in actual deformation, it is the linear portion. So, technically, kalo na sabi ko kanina nga, ito yung proportional limit na tinatawag natin. Okay? So, in the it is in the linear portion of the stress strain diagram, the stress is proportional strain in a give, is given by, ayun nga, yung bigay kong formula kanina. Stress is equals to So, we have here, balik tayo sa equation natin. Guys, ito na yung annotate. So, ngayon, so, di ba, nandiscuss ko na nga ito, uh, stress is equals to Young's modulus multiplied by strain. Okay? So, ayan yung formula natin. Pero, syempre, maganda, isolve natin to in terms of uh, deformation mismo. Ano nga ba yung deformation natin, di ba? Yung deformation natin is yung kanina, yung sa simula. Balik natin. So, nakikita nyo pa. Ayan. Balik natin to. Ayan, yung deformation natin, guys. Yang ano na yan? Yang delta na yan. Okay. So, gamitin natin. So, ipalabas natin yang ano na yan. Okay. Papalabas natin siya dun sa given equation natin. So, ano na equation natin? Mag-whiteboard tayo, guys. Para makita properly. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So, meron tayo. Balik tayo sa uh, actual lefor Formation. Okay? So, we have first formula. So, we have original formula for it na... Paano ba yan? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, stress is equals to Young's modulus multiplied by strain. Okay? So, of course, we have formula for strain na equals to delta over original length. Okay? And also... We have formula for stress na equals to applied load over area. Okay, so substitute natin yan sa given equation. So we have here P over A is equals to E over L. Ganyan, di ba? So ang kailangan natin is this one. So divide both sides ng E over L. Okay, so E over L. So we have... New formula, so uh, ito na yung formula na gagamitin natin guys, is PL over AE, okay? Such as P is the applied load, okay? Applied load. A is the cross-sectional area. Ay, mali ako spelling. Cross-sectional area and L is the original length natin guys original length so para makita nyo lang mm -hmm. E uh, Young's modulus or tama modulus of elasticity elasticity okay and we have this one uh, change in length so change in length sya So, para alam nila kung ano yung mga nandyan, okay? So, we have this one as stress. And, of course, yung maarting E as string. Okay? So, ayan lahat yung mga units or mga uh, uh, quantity na dapat malaman nyo for this topic. Okay? So, we have P as applied load. A as cross-sectional area. L as original length. E as modulus of elasticity. And then, uh, delta. Or deformation, change in length. Uh, small sigma, small sigma yan guys, as stress. And of course, uh, as big sigma or the capital letter sigma, strain. Okay? So, ayan yung, no, ano natin, kailangan yung malaman sa, ano natin guys. So, dito tayo ngayon, balik tayo ngayon sa PowerPoint natin. So, ayan yung ano natin, assumption. So, technically, dapat, kulang pa, hindi, ba't uh, dyan? Okay, balik tayo sa ano. So, ayan na. So, ito na yun, yung kanina, yung working formula natin, okay? To use this formula, the load, of course, the load must be actual again. The bar must have uniform cross-sectional area. And the stress must not exceed the proportional limit. Okay, so, sinasabi dito, guys, dapat, ma dapat lahat yan, yan yung limitation ng formula natin. If, kunwari man, hindi ma-assume lahat, hindi ma-assume, hindi natin ma-ano, hindi natin may pasok sa lahat dun sa ano na yun. So, yan yung formula natin, di ba? So, dapat, ah, 
isa lang yung applied load natin. Yung cross-sectional area natin, isa lang din. Hindi magkakaiba. Yung length, uh, matik yan, modulus of elasticity. So, technically, if ever merong hindi masatisfy dun sa kanina, pwede natin gawin yung formula natin as summation. Okay? Is equals to summation of PL over AE. Okay? Ngayon. So, ganun din gagawin dyan. Okay? So, ayun siya. So, dito yan. Dito, basta, makadidiscuss ko din yan properly. Okay? So, ito, actually, ito rin yun. Pero, other way to look at it lang naman yan. So, ngayon, dito tayo papasok ngayon sa next naman natin. Is, dun naman sa last, last, uh, last topic for this one. Bago tayo proceed sa problem solving. Okay? So, ito naman. Ah, uh, for a rod of unit mass suspended vertically from one end, the total elongation due to its own weight is uh, P uh, rho G, rho G L squared over 2E or mg L, uh, mg L over 2AE. So, dito, yung explain dito, if naka-vertically suspended. So, paano yung vertically suspended, guys? Example, kayo guys, na-try nyo ba mag-pull up? Ganon, yun yung vertically suspended. Nakahang kayo. Nakahang kayo. So, technically guys, pag nakahang kayo, so, ibig sabihin nun, so, ano nangyayari? Saan yung may deformation? Saan yung, nakaka sa yung nakaka-receive ng stress? Technically, sa upper body natin, dito nakaka-receive ng stress, di ba, sa amay? So, ibig sabihin, nagkakaroon tayo ngayon, nagdag knowledge siya ng to. Pag vertically suspended ang isang material, so, drawing natin, para ito yung, yung plate, tapos ito yung, ano natin, ayan siya. So, ang tendency guys, Itong upper body, so hatiin lang natin. Itong upper body, ito yung nakakaramdam nung ano natin. Ngayon yung nakakaramdam nung ano natin. Tawag doon, nakakaramdam ng stress and strain. So, mangyayari dyan, pag nag-applied ka na, so yan na siya kanwari ulit. So, i-XC siyang ganyan. Tapos ba habad. Wait lang, parang tingnan. Ganyan siya. Okay. So, yan pa rin yung original mo. Diba? Technically, humaba siya ng konti. So, ayan siya. Okay? Ayan yung, ayan na ngayon yung deformation mo. Okay? So, formula for this one. Ano formula ulit na gagamitin doon? Maligan natin. Is equals to uh, rho g l squared over 2e or mass mass to ah, uh, or m g L over 2AE. Okay, so, nadagdag lang, guys. Nadagdag lang dito is yung rho as density. So, technically, di ko na alam kung madidiscuss kung meron dito sa formula. So, G as acceleration due to gravity. Of course, matik yan. Acceleration due to gravity. So, constant yan, guys, ha? Either 9.81 or 32.174. And of course, uh, ano pa ba? M as mass. Okay, so ayun lang na yung nadagdag naman dito sa formula natin. Vertically suspended siya. Vertically suspended at one end. Suspended at one end. Okay? So ayun yung formula ng gagamitin natin. Okay guys, nagigets? So I hope nagigets mo pa. So dito tayo ngayon, balik tayo ngayon sa na natin. So, ayun siya. So, may stiffness din tayong tinatawag. Stiffness is the ratio of steady force acting on an elastic body to the resulting displacement. It has the unit of newton per millimeter. Ganyan lang. Ganyan lang. Okay? So, iba pa yun dun sa ano ah. Iba pa yun dun sa proportionality constant. Okay? So, dito tayo ngayon sa problem solving. Okay? So, basahin yung weight lang. Okay, okay, so sample problem. Sa steel wire, 30 feet long, hanging vertically supports a load of 500 pounds. So, neglecting the weight of the wire, determine the required diameter if the stress is not to exceed 20 KSI and the total elongation is not to exceed a 0.20 inches. So, mga given, given tayong length. Okay, guys, may given tayong length. May given tayong... 
may given tayong load. So, teka. And guys, balik tayo. Sorry. So, meron tayong dalawang, ano, dalawang con dapat i-consider. So, i-consider. So, ay, slot natin muna yung mga, ano, given. So, ba't ka nun? Iba yung formula dito. Hang vertically. Supports a load. Ah, okay. It supports a load. So, yeah, anyway, balik tayo. Ibang formula yung ginamit dito. Amazing. So, we have here a steel wire, 30 feet long, hangi. So, may L ka na 30 feet. Okay. And meron kang, and supports a load of 500 pounds. So, may P or applied load na 500 pounds. Okay. And deconnecting the weight of the wire, determine the required diameter if the stress. So, dapat yung stress natin is hanggang 20 KSI lang or 20,000 20, PSI. And yung total elongation natin, or wait lang, sorry. Total elongation natin is equals to 0.20 inches. Okay? So, hanggang dyan lang. And assume, meron tayong given na E na 29 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. O nga pala guys, ito papasok ngayon yung mga units natin. So, kailangan uh, maging ano tayo. Maging ano tayo sa unit. Okay? Lalo na sa formula later. So, sa isang formula. So, ngayon, nabanggit dito, ito yung dalawang kailangan tayong consider yung sa deformation niya and of sa stress niya. So, dalawang way tayo magsasolve. So, first, so required, ah, uh, required natin, diameter. Okay, so first, for, ano tayo, for, for, ah, uh, stress. So, we have formula for stress is equals to P over A. Di ba? Ngayon lang naman. 20 is equals to 500 all over pi d squared over 4. Okay? So, we have now, uh, huh? paano to? Paano natin si equate to? 20. So, magiging 20 pi over 4 d squared is equals to 500. Okay? Ngayon siya. So, equate lang natin to magiging 5 pi o oh, magiging ano siya? Magiging d squared is equals to 100 Pi. So, final answer, D is equals to uh -huh, square root of 100 over pi. So, we have D is equals to, anong unit to? Pounds. Shucks. Wait lang ha. Nalito ako sa unit ko bigla. Tama. Uh, ano nung 20? Ah, okay. Kasi 20. Sorry, sorry. Gawin natin 20,000 pala. Okay na, okay. Gawin natin yung 20,000 para rin tayo nalilito. Kaya siguro gano'n. Para, para, para uniform ng units. Okay? 20,000 is equals to uh, 500 over pi d squared over 4. Okay? So, 20,000 divided by 4. So, we have d squared is equals to 20,000 divided by 4. So, we have 5,000. So, equals to 500 over 5,000 pi. So, square root. Okay. So, D is equals to 500 divided by 5,000 okay. square root of 1 over 10 pi. So, we have uh, D is equals to 0. 178. So, 3 decimal. Kasi technically, yun namin hinahanap. Diba? So, we have diameter na 0.178 inch. So, of course, hindi lang dyan lang tayo magpo-focus. Solve din natin yung diameter based dito sa formula na to. Okay? Based naman dyan. So, we have... So, technically, uh, madali, ganun lang din naman pala siya. So, hindi naman given kasi yung... Uh, Hindi given yung, ano tawag dito, yung density tsaka mass. So, technically, pwede natin gamitin yung formula din na una. So, saan lang, saan lang siya gagamitin if kung given itong mga ganyan. Okay? Kung given yung mass. Kasi dito, neglect the weight naman eh. Neglecting the weight. So, neglect daw to. So, technically, dun tayo sa formula na isa. Okay? Dun tayo sa original formula natin na this one. Ayan. Ito yung original formula natin. Okay? So, yun yung gamitin natin na formula. For deformation, okay? So, 
Depende pa rin pala sa you given, guys. Depende sa given, mostly. So, P, L over, uh, yun na, over A, E. Okay? So, L, P is equals. So, yung itong 30 feet, convert natin siya into inches. Okay? So, ganyan. Magiging ilan? 360 inches. Okay? So, 500. So, mapapansin nyo guys, ha? Kaparta ko yung mga unit. So, 360 inches all over uh, pi E. So, tagay na magiging inches squared siya, which is hindi dapat. Okay. So, magiging inch na lang siya dapat yan. Makita ko. Makita ko na lang para ano, sure tayo. So, we have E uh, pi uh, yung E. Yung A natin. Ano yung A natin? Pi D squared over 4 inches squared. Multiplied by E. Ano yung E natin? 29 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. So, technically, guys, mapapansin nyo, PSI to. Okay? Kung PSI yan, so, pwede natin mag-cancel out ngayon. Ito. So, mag-cancel out. Tsaka yan. Okay? So, yun na yung matitira sa atin, yung inches. Okay? So, ayun na siya. Ayun na yun. Ayun na yung all in all. Yun na yung inches na kailangan natin. Okay? So, pwede natin siyang isolve with this formula. Okay? So, point 2 is equals to 500 times 360. Oh, a 100. Uh, 180,000. Over 29. 29.6 uh, divided by 4. So, we have 7, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. Pi P squared. Okay? Ayan na yung working equation natin. So, answer pi times 0.2. So, we have D squared this equals to 180,000 divided by 455309.348. So, solve na natin agad yung D na lang para di na sumobra sa ano. So, 180,000 divided by answer, square root of answer. So, we have D is equals to 1.9. I sorry, mali. So, 3 decimal ulit tayo guys, ha? 198. Okay, 199 pala. Sorry. So, mapapansin nyo guys, inches. Of course, ang gagamitin dapat natin palagi na... Uh, required diameter is yung pinakamaliit palagi yun. So, final answer, final answer for this given problem is yung pinakamaliit. Okay? So, balik tayo doon. Ba't napunta sa aking pagmumuka? So, ayan. Ito yung final answer natin, guys. Okay? So, ayan siya. Okay? So, yun yung final answer natin for this given problem. Okay, so next problem tayo. Balik tayo din sa ano natin. Okay. So, during stress strain test, the unit of deformation of a stress of 35, milli 35 megapascal was observed to be, so ito yung strain niya, 166.67 times 10 raised to negative 6 at a stress of 140 meganewton per m. And, yun nga, so technically, pwede din isolve so, ang inaanap dito is yung modulus of elasticity tsaka ano yung strain natin dito sa given stress. So, kailangan natin isolve ngayon. So, technically, uh, solve, ano lang siya? Doon tayo, sa origi, doon tayo sa unang formula natin, guys. Ano yung unang formula? Balik tayo dito. Ito yung unang formula natin. Okay? Yan yung first formula natin na tukoy ko. Kasi, so, andyan naman na yung stress, andyan yung strain. Ang inaanap is modulus of elasticity. Okay? So, problem number... So, ano yung mga given ulit? Balik na natin yung mga given. So, we have first point. So, meron tayong strain 1 equals to 35 megapascal. Okay? We have uh, 1 is equals to 166.67 times 10 raised to negative 6 meter per meter. Okay? So, we have uh, next is equals to So, technically guys, kung mapansin nyo, yung unit natin for modulus of elasticity 
you need to solve muna natin siya para makita nyo. Uh, 140 megapascal and is equals to 666.67 times 10 is to negative 6 and m. So, A, find modulus of elasticity and B, find uh, E, if strain is equals to 80 mega pascal. Tama, mega pascal yan. Okay. So, solve natin siya ngayon. Okay. So, solve natin yung med uh, Young's modulus natin or modulus of elasticity. So, modulus of elasticity is equals to ganyan. Okay. So, we have E is equals to solve natin. So, pwede solve muna sa una. Solve natin sa una para makita nyo. So, technically, equate yan. Equate yan. So, ayan. So, E is equals to ganyan din. So, try solve nyo din ha. Sabayan nyo ang mag-solve. So, we have here, ang in niya dito is around 209.995.8. Ganyan na lang. And dito, try solve sa isa. 140 divided by 666.67 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, meron siyang E dito na 209998 kin din actually 0.95 So guys, mababansin niyo o nga pala. So technically ang unit diyan, kung makikita niyo, so pakita natin yung unit para makita natin para tayong cancellation of unit. So cancellation of units. So we have here E is equals to Anong unit na ano natin? Mega Pascal, di ba? So, technically, yung strain natin is wala siyang ano, is dimensionless siya. So, we can now say E, meron siyang unit Mega Pascal. Yung unit, unit for E is Mega Pascal or mostly GPA or Giga Pascal. Either of the two, pero mas ginagamit ito, Giga Pascal. So, kung ito is MPA, guys, kung naka MPA yan or naka Mega Pascal, so, kung natin siya i-convert ngayon into gigapascal. And, 1 gigapascal is equals to 1,000 megapascal. Okay, so we can now say E is equals to 210 gigapascal. So, ayan yung final answer natin. Okay? So, ayan. So, technically, kung ganyan yung E natin, pwede natin masolve ngayon yung B. So, yung B uh, equals to uh, 80 Divided by 210. So, mega pascal, mega pascal. Is equals to E. So, E is equals to. Ayan naman yon, 80 divided by 210. So, we have here. Uh, 1. Paano ba to? 1, 2. De, na lang. 3.8 times 10 raised to negative 2 meter per meter. Okay? Yan yung final answer natin for this one. Ay, hindi. Sorry, mali pala. Ba't ba? Akin, akin. Ano pala yan? Dapat ano pala? Teka ha. Dapat pala at 210,000 gamitin ko. Sorry. 80 divided by 210,000. So, we have here. Ayan pala. E is equals to So, para maging raised to negative 16 siya. Para makita nyo. 380.95 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, ito yung answer natin for this one. Okay? So, ayan siya. Okay, guys. So, ayan yung E for B. 380.95 times 10 raised to negative 6. So, makikita nyo, gradually increase din, di ba? So, from 35 to 80. So, from 166.67 to 380. So, technically, tumataas na tumataas siya. So, yun yung sa number. Ano natin, guys, ha? Sa number 2. So, next problem tayo. So, new share. Balik tayo doon. So, ayan. So, next problem. So, dito tayo. So, ito. Uh, 4 millimeter diameter steel wire. 
with 3.2 meter long carries an actual tensile load P, find the maximum safe value of P if the allowable stress is 280 MPa and the elongation of the wire is limited to 4 mm. Use E as 200 G Pascal. So, uh, gigapascal pala. So, hanapin daw natin yung maximum safe value. So, dalawa ulit yung pagbabasaya natin. Una, sa allowable stress natin na 280 Pascal, and of course, yung elongation ng wire natin na hanggang 4 mm lang. Okay? So, wala natin siyang isolve now today. Okay. So, number 3. So, meron tayong given na diameter na 4 mm. Okay? Meron tayong given na length na 3.2 meters. Tulad guys, ang sabi ko, huwag nyo kakalimutan yung mga units natin. Okay? Para hindi kayo malito. Allowable stress na 280 megapascal. So, either mega newton per meter squared yan. Or newton per... Mag-mm na lang tayo. Newton per mm squared. Okay? And deformation na 4 mm also. Okay? Ay meron tayong uh, E uh, Young's modulus na equals to 200 uh, GPA or 200,000 megapascal or newton per meter millimeter squared. Okay? So, at least, ano tayo? Consistent tayo sa unit. So, ito, convert lang natin to, to millimeter. So, times ilan tayo? 1,000. Diba? So, magiging 3,200 Ay, sumabra tayo ng zero. Millimeter. Okay? So, consistent na tayo sa unit, guys. Hindi na tayo pwedeng malito. Okay? So, find P. So, sabi dito, maximum safe value. So, mostly, kung natin maximum safe value, ito yung mababang value na masasolve natin. Okay? Yun ang yung palagi, ha? Huwag naman yung malilito. Teka lang, ha? So, dito na tayo. Okay. So, solve natin ngayon sa allowable stress muna. So, 4. Sado kasi yung makapal eh. 4 allowable stress. Okay. So, is equals to applied load over uh, pi t squared over 4. Okay. So, uh, magiging 280 is equals to ay, 280 multiplied by ala, multiplied by pi 4 squared over 4 diba? is equals to P. So, P is equals to 280 times 4 ilan? 280 times 4 1120 times pi 1120 answer pi so, we have P is equals to 3,518 Tama. Tama naman. 0.584 Newton. Okay? Yun na yung ano natin. Tama. 4 mm divided by 4 pi d squared over 4. Teka ah. Oh, yun yung nakuha ko. 5.84. So, yan yung Newton. Yan yung pinatid sa una. So, solve naman natin dun sa isa. O, solve naman natin dito sa uh, 4. Ano naman? 4. Ay, hindi pala makita. Pangit na. 4 uh, deformation. Allowable deformation. Okay? So, ganyan is equals to P L over A E. Or, er, actually, technically, ano nga yan. Eh. Pwede siyang gawin na equals to, ano, kalakas natin isolve yung pressure eh. Diba? So, ayan. Solve. So, dito yung working equation natin. So, magiging 4 mm is equals to uh, P, P natin, multiplied by uh, 3,200 millimeters all over Area natin, guys. Uh, yun ulit. 4 mm siya, di ba? So, 6. So, 4 pi. Actually, 4 pi multiplied by 200 
5,000. Okay. Newton per meter squared. So, technically, magka-cancel out yun. Cancel to. Cancel yan. Meron tayong millimeter squared dito. Cancel yan. So, matitira na lang is Newton. Okay? So, yan na yung working equation natin. Okay? So, equate na natin, guys. So, 200,000 times 4 times 4 pi. Okay. And then, next, divided by 3,200. Okay. So, we have P. So, ito na yung P natin, ha. Solve na to. P is equals to 3,000.41.593. Newton. Yun na yung unit. So, ito lang sabi ko kanina, guys. Pag kukuha tayo ng final answer, maximum safe value natin, always yung pinakamaliit. Okay? Always yung pinakamaliit. So, ano mas maliit? Itong 3,5 or itong 3,1? Of course, yung 3,1. So, ito yung final answer natin for this given problem. Okay. So, next, ano na tayo? Next, last topic, last problem for this given, for this week. Okay? So, ayan. Last two topics pala. Sige, wait lang. Last two topics pa pala. So, 